everybody! Welcome back to Karen Puzzles. So despite all of the tinsel behind me, um, today's puzzle is not actually festive, except for the fact that it was my Christmas present from me to me. So this is the Disneyland 4D puzzle. And I just like randomly came across this on eBay one day months ago, and I have been wanting it ever since. I mean, just look at it. It is so fun. It's so happy. I will admit, I am not the biggest Disney fan out there. Um, I wanted to dress like in theme for this video, and I realized I literally own no Disney clothing. So I painted my nails, not perfectly, but I tried to get them to match the sign. So <laughs> that's that's about as good as I can do. I do like Disney. You know, I live in LA. I have friends who go to Disneyland all the time. I have been a couple times, but I'm not like a pass holder. Disney isn't like a huge part of my life. But <laughs> when I saw this puzzle, I was just like, I need to do that. I need this in my life. <laughs> Until I looked at the price and I realized that if you were to get it new, like sealed, brand new, it would be $300. <laughs> this came out in 2013 and it was a Disney Parks exclusive. You can only get it from their shop. They do not make this anymore, so you can only get it secondhand. So the one that I got has already been opened but it seems like all of the pieces should be there, hopefully. And I paid about $125 for this after shipping and taxes, all of that was included, which is still pricey for a jigsaw puzzle. But, you know, sometimes you gotta treat yourself <laughs> with a Disneyland jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> so you might be wondering, what does it mean that a puzzle is 4D? And as far as I can tell, the only like 4D aspect of it is that it comes with these plastic buildings that you insert into the Disneyland map. So it becomes 3D. That's 3D. Why? Well, I don't know why they call it 4D, but <laughs> it's 3D. Anyway, I am so excited to get into this finally after yearning after it for so many months. So let's open it up. All right, let's take a look at the box. Look at how colorful and fun that is. Like imagine if you were at Disneyland and you saw this on the shelf, you would not be able to resist it. It is so fun. You can see that it is a 750 piece puzzle and it has 50 of these plastic buildings. Here is a look at what it will hopefully look like once we're done. You can see that it's a map of Disneyland with all the different rides as these like 3D plastic pieces. And I love that at the bottom they have to say that the buildings are not to scale. The map has been altered to accommodate the buildings. And then it, it gives you the finished size 29 by 18 and a half inches. So here is what the sides look like. Um, pretty standard. Here you can see all of these different copyrights for all of the different characters included in the puzzle. And they actually never say what year the actual puzzle was made. I literally had to go online and search the name of the puzzle to find the original promo video to find out when this thing came out. So if we take a look at the back, you can see that there's another map, but this time it's actually labeled with all of the different attractions. And when I opened up the box, I didn't see any other maps inside. So when I actually am putting the buildings into place, I think this is what I'll have to refer to to see where everything goes. Because I've only been to Disney a handful of times, so I'm not totally familiar with where everything is and what all the different lands are called. All right, it's time to open a bath. I'm so excited to do this puzzle. <laughs> Just look at the colors. Oh my God, I'm so ready. I'm so ready. So I actually like that whoever sold this to me on eBay actually kept the original product bags. Um, obviously they've been opened because this has been done before, but uh, you know, all of this is what it originally looked like. So I'll just go ahead and dump out all of the pieces. And then we have two bags of these plastic buildings, but I think I'm gonna 
hang on to these. I'll just leave them in the box for now and we will tackle those after we have finished the puzzle. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize that the backing of these pieces would be so dark. It actually looks a little like grim before they've all been turned over because half of it is just like black. <laughs> Ooh, okay, but it looks like these white areas are where all of the plastic buildings are going to be inserted in. So should I take them out now? Should I leave them in? I think I'll probably leave them in place and then when it comes time to put the buildings in, I can take them out one by one. So I didn't realize that some of these pieces where the buildings get inserted are so huge. Like this entire thing is one jigsaw puzzle piece. I'm basically just going to have like islands that all of the other pieces kind of build out from rather than having you know, an entire puzzle made out of normal sized pieces. Also, these pieces are basically made out of foam. If you've ever done a Puzz 3D puzzle, it feels like the exact same type of foam that they use. And then it just has this kind of glossy um, picture glued to the front. Also, all of the connectors are very square and I'm not seeing a lot of variation between them. So I think I'm gonna have to use the picture a lot more than the shape of the pieces to figure out how this whole thing goes together. Also, I just pulled a couple edge pieces and it looks like they all have this white stripe on the edge. So that should make it easier to find these and pull them out and that's where I'll start. All right, let's get all of these like sorted and turned over so that it can stop looking like a Halloween puzzle instead of like a happy fun Disney puzzle. Like literally, why would they use black foam? It's so like drab and depressing. Why couldn't they use like a bright blue or something to match the box? But once I turn everything over, we won't see that anymore. So let me do that. So I just finished doing all of the sorting and just as I suspected, it is looking so much brighter and so much happier now. Like, look at that. No more dark black <laughs> backs of the pieces. There are some black areas in this puzzle, but for the most part, it is so colorful. So I'm gonna get started on the edge. It doesn't look like it should be too difficult, but here's actually what I'm thinking. Since there are so many different colors and textures and things going on in all of these pieces, I'm going to attempt to do it without looking at the box. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this on the floor, not look at that. As somebody who hasn't been to Disney in like four years, uh, this might be a little difficult because I don't know the map very well, but I'm hoping that my puzzle skills can let me still solve it, so let's try it out. And if I have to look, you know, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. All right, so I just finished the edge and what I realized is because the foam is a little like bendable and the pieces or like the connectors are so similar, you can pretty much fit any piece in with any other piece, like if you push them together hard enough. So this is a puzzle where I'm definitely gonna have to be working mostly on the picture rather than the piece shape. And again, for a puzzle that I've been saying is so colorful, the border is mostly this like sepia tone. So the border was actually kind of difficult and a little boring, but I got it together. So now I can finally get to the colorful part. Although I think I am gonna continue with a sepia part just to start off. Um, they have all of these pieces with this 
text on it. There's like a quote, I assume probably from Walt Disney. So I think that's where I'm gonna start. But then I'll get to the colorful part. Also, I don't quite know how I'm gonna deal with all of these like floating islands. Um, it looks like the pink is a very distinct color. So maybe I'll try to move some of them off of the board and then just work on the pink pieces. Maybe teal, that's also pretty distinct. This would definitely be easier if I was looking at the box, but I'm here for a challenge. I don't want it to be too easy. So I'll just get back to it and I'll check in in a little bit. So luckily, even though the connectors aren't really unique, the picture was varied enough that most of the puzzle went together fairly quickly and easily. The foam all stays together really well, so you can pick up sections and move them around. It only got annoying in the parts where there isn't enough on the pieces to differentiate them, but that only happened in a few small parts of the puzzle. So I do wish that these center pieces weren't quite so huge. I don't know why they couldn't have just cut them down into smaller puzzle piece shapes, since this middle part of the puzzle is the most fun part, and a lot of it was taken up by these huge islands of pieces. But doing this without looking at the box was definitely the way to go, since it was really fun to build out the map and figure out what went where, using the colors on the edges of the pieces. Also, since the foam is so thick, putting in pieces where they're fully surrounded was so satisfying. So I love a puzzle with a lot of text. I love maps as puzzles, and this is one of the most colorful and interesting puzzle maps I've ever seen. I think that if you have spent a lot of time at Disneyland, doing this map as a puzzle will just bring back a lot of different memories. But there still were some tricky parts. You can see here that I had to rearrange part of the edge where it was all mixed up since the pieces seemed to fit, but obviously they were actually wrong. But it wasn't a huge deal and I got it all sorted out pretty easily. So including the sorting and the edge, getting to this point in the puzzle took an hour and 40 minutes. All right, it's been about two hours. I'm having so much fun with this puzzle. It is so cute and so colorful and fun. Here's where I'm at. You can see that I have most of the center of the map put together, and I just have a few more of these little islands floating around that I haven't quite attached yet. There's also still quite a bit of the sepia pieces that'll go along the edge, but honestly, those are so much more boring than the inside of the map, so I've left them until last. It's actually been really funny trying to like remember what land is where, because it's been probably four years since I've been to Disneyland. So I was like, oh yeah, I remember like Main Street and then that statue there, I remember sitting there. And then I'm trying to think like, okay, if you go left, what happens then? What about if you go right? <laughs> but I've completely lost all of it. I don't know what is where. So I'm completely working off of just what's on all of the pieces and trying to match up all of the colors. So I don't have a ton more to say here. Just enjoy a few satisfying shots of sliding those foam pieces into place. All right, so when I got to the end, this was the hardest part of the puzzle, just finishing these last like 20 pieces. And that's because this is the only spot on the puzzle that is a continual texture without any clues about which piece goes where. And since all of the pieces seemed to fit in every spot, 
I had to look really closely to see what lined up perfectly to make sure that I had each piece in the right spot. Even at the very end, I second guessed myself and I took pieces out, but in the end, I got it done. And it was only an extra few minutes at the end there. It wasn't hours and hours of frustration like other puzzles have been in the past. All right, I just finished the first layer of the puzzle, the 2D puzzle. Now I guess it's time to get 3D, 4D, hmm. Anyway, here's what it looks like. I can't wait to pull out all of those buildings and build my own little Disneyland. All right, the puzzle is complete, but now it's time to bring back the box. And this is the most exciting part, getting to put in all of the little buildings. When I first saw this puzzle online, this reminded me of the game of life. That's kind of why I wanted to try it. Again, I'm going to attempt to figure out where these all go without looking at the box. But as I have said, I am not the most familiar with the Disneyland map, so I might have to like double check my work after. So I'm just gonna jump out all of the, oh my God, that's so loud. I can't even talk over that. <laughs> oh my gosh, these buildings are so fun. Look at the castle, it's so little and so cute. And the little Dumbo ride. We have like a handful of big buildings and then a bunch of smaller, less distinct ones. Some of these, I don't even know what they're supposed to be. Well, I know that I can definitely put the castle right here. I know where the castle goes. Um, how am I gonna do this? I guess since the whole thing like stays together, like you can literally pick up this entire foam puzzle piece and put it back down again. Um, I think I can actually just reach underneath, push out the, um, the spots where the buildings are gonna go and then kind of smush it back together and then just pop the building in place. Oh, it's a tight fit. Oh boy. <laughs> Wait, am I doing it backwards? Oh, <laughs> I was doing it backwards. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do my best to match up all of the buildings to all of the spots and then I'll be back to check my work against the box. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that after looking at this puzzle on eBay like every month, all year, trying to convince myself to buy it, I can't believe I finally have it and it's finished and it's so cute. Now look, I know that a lot of you are going to be mad at me because this is not a objectively like very high quality puzzle. There are a lot of issues with it, which I'm gonna get to in a sec. And I have dragged puzzles before for far fewer issues than this one has. But regardless of all of the problems, I just think it's 
really fun. <laughs> you know, it's Christmas. Let me like things. So what is wrong with this puzzle? Quite a few things. <laughs> Number one, um, this was only made like seven years ago. I would forgive this if this was made, you know, like 20, 30 years ago, but a lot of the adhesive that's connecting the picture to the foam is already breaking down. It's already like peeling up. There were a few pieces where I had like tried them in the wrong spot. And then as I pulled them up, the picture just completely came off of the piece entirely. So I'll have to glue those back down. They also didn't cut some of the holes quite big enough. And so when you put the plastic pieces in, it kind of puckers in and it's not a perfectly flat surface all the way across, which kind of ruins the effect. It kind of is like a, a hilly landscape rather than a perfectly flat one with buildings coming up off of it. So if you are like a perfectionist, that might really bug you. I'm fine with it. I don't really care. I'll also say that a lot of the buildings are not nearly as detailed as they theoretically could be. They're very simplistic. And also when I checked that I had everything in the right place, when I was checking it against the map, um, they say on here that some of the colors may vary and some of the colors do vary. So let's see, this one, which is uh, the Storybook Land Canal Boats. It's supposed to be pink and mine is blue. The uh, Pirate's Lair on Tom Sawyer Island, that is supposed to be brown and mine is yellow. The Frontierland Arch, uh, which is right here by Main Street, it's supposed to be the same color red as Main Street, but mine's yellow. And the Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh is supposed to be orange and mine is yellow. Seems like I have a lot more yellow than maybe I should have. So I don't know if these just vary across the different products. Like maybe they redesigned it after they printed the box. Like this is so weird. I, I don't know why they would be different colors. And then of course there is the thing of pretty much every piece could fit with every other piece, which is always a huge pet peeve of mine when doing jigsaw puzzles. Luckily for the most part, the picture is varied enough that that wasn't an issue. It was really just these like forest sections at the end that got a little tricky. And I also think that's just something that happens when you're cutting pieces out of a really thick foam like this. You just can't get that detailed and you need to have the really thick foam in order to keep the plastic pieces in place and give them something to like hang on to. So is this a perfect puzzle? Absolutely not. But does it make me happy? Did I have fun doing it? Completely. I thought, you know, the puzzle is really colorful. I had a great time doing it and then trying to match up all the shapes to find the buildings to put into each one. I thought that part was so fun as well. I would not necessarily say that it was $125 worth of fun or $300 worth of fun if I had bought one brand new, but I'm not mad that I bought it. And I think that if you are a huge Disney, like Disneyland fan, and you're, you also love puzzles, this would just be something really cool to have in your collection, especially since they don't make it anymore. So it's something that you really have to seek out and like commit to beyond just picking up a puzzle off the shelf. I will say I do still have some issues with marketing it as a 4D puzzle because there's literally nothing 4D about this. It's like barely even 3D. It's like two and a half D. <laughs> but I know that the 4D puzzle brand is something that already exists like outside of this puzzle. I think they have them for cities and I think those are a little bit more involved. And I think when I was looking it up, I think there's also a Harry Potter one. So I think I'm gonna have to do that one next year. But overall, I really liked this puzzle. I wouldn't recommend it to everyone. I don't think everyone would love it, but I personally really liked it. And that's actually what I want to know in a comment. Is there anything in your life, like a puzzle or anything else, where you know that it is not good quality and yet you still love it? I mean, me with literally every single high school teen TV show drama. So I think that's going to be it from me. Thank you for watching my channel and 
indulging me on <laughs> all of these weird puzzles I want to spend my money on. Ooh, you need a code word for the comments. I think it'll be castle. And actually, the castle actually has the moat or like the walkway or whatever it is like running through it, which I think is a really nice detail, especially since the rest of it is not that detailed. So happy holidays. I hope you're all staying warm and safe and cozy with your puzzles. I'll see you all next time.